Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this particular training, we're gonna continue talking about field mappings. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about regarding field mappings are specific fields that you might wanna consider mapping from the HubSpot side over to PhoneBurner. All of these are optional, of course, but these are ones that I would recommend that you consider. So the first one is the last contacted date. You might wanna have the last contacted date in HubSpot synced over to a date field in PhoneBurner. Now, of course, there is not a HubSpot last contacted date field over in PhoneBurner. So let's go ahead and create one of those real quick. So we're gonna to go to our contact settings in PhoneBurner, go to custom fields, and let's just create a new date field. Once we create that field, we'll refresh our list here. Select that and add that. And you'll see that that's one way. Now we'll go to add new mapping. The next thing that I'd recommend that we map is a field called next activity date. Now we don't have that field on phone burner yet. So we're going to go ahead and create that field. Make that a date field. Refresh. Create that mapping. Another one that I would consider if you're using the deals object at all, then you might want to have the number of deals associated with the contact. And again, we don't have that in phone burner, so we're going to go ahead and create that. Make that a text field. Sync that one. Another one that I would recommend that you consider is recent deal amount. Of course, we don't have that over here on phone burner either. And then the last one that I'm going to mention here, obviously you can see there are a ton of fields from the HubSpot side, but the last one uh, I'm going to bring up is the date of the last meeting booked in the meetings tools. That might be a tool that you're using in HubSpot and you might want to have that date mapped over to phone burner. So And then we'll go ahead and create that sync. Anyway, that wraps up our training on the custom field mappings. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this has helped you understand more about what you can map between the two systems. But this is not the end of the training. Make sure you move on to our next training video so that we can get things turned on and syncing between the two systems. Thanks again and happy dialing.